Hey there, I'm going to show you my uh, HP server power supply that's been modified to be just a standard issue 12 volt power supply, 600 watts. Um, it's actually really, really easy to do um, and the results were really great so I just wanted to kind of show it to, you know, let more people know about it. Um, these things are pulled out of servers that have been decommissioned and they usually have a lot of surplus ones because they use redundant power supplies and big servers. So there's a ton of these things just floating around um, on the on eBay and various other sources. And um, this Hewlett Packard DPS 600 PB is not the only one that's uh, that's good to use, but this is one of the more popular ones. So let me show you the ins and outs. Um, here's the. Uh, pretty bug standard uh, power jack um, as you can see uh, soldered on um, Hobby King 4mm bullet connectors and these are actually what a lot of the RC chargers hook up to so um, yeah I just have these lying around you know see I'm making like a million harnesses right now um, and they're soldered on in between these pins and then I got the switch. I thought it was going to be um, an on-off switch, but I permanently soldered these two pins together and then used the switch in between those two pins and this. Well, it didn't turn out to be a full power switch. It uh, With these two pins soldered together, it's in kind of like a standby mode. Um, so I'll show you how it works. Let's plug in our iCharger or whatever, whatever you got. And then the power cord. So notice we're kind of in a, like maybe like a standby mode. So if you wanted to do a full on-off switch again, you'd want to have to, you want to have the ability to switch all three pins on together at the same time. But yeah. So here you go. It's really loud. <laughs> you can actually um, probably put a resistor in between the fan and the, uh, the power supply itself you know maybe like a 10 watt to kind of drop the speed or you know potentially you might be able to uh, switch the fan out for one that runs at a low RPM oh well, it's annoying so yeah the iCharger is totally happy with this thing um, with 600 watt power supply you know um, can put out way more power than this thing could ever use and 24 volts you want to get this bad boy you run two of these in series you've got 1200 watts of um, power supply for 15 bucks yep so anyway <laughs> um, yeah I do I do recommend these units but uh, you know for the price you can't beat it it's also got power factor correction in it so it doesn't uh, doesn't make your power source dirty or draw more amps than it actually needs to and it's very efficient and these things are pretty bomb proof you know considering their application they're meant to go on servers that run the internet basically all day so yeah so I recommend um, I recommend these there's also a couple ones from Dell um, and other brands and there's, um, there's a lot of um, pinouts where you can uh, figure out how to activate the power um, for each one. And usually, like RC RC car group enthusiasts know all this stuff, and they have like big old threads on it. Um, RCgroups.com is one of the places where I found the information I needed. So, yeah, if you're interested in these, I recommend them and uh, have fun.